Generic greetings and welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. Today's beverage is... Ah, very nice indeed. That is tea, Earl Grey, and no sugar, naturally. So, I haven't featured airships for quite a while now. This is version 9.7.1, and the reason I'm jumping into it now is simply because if we go to the airship editor, we can now see there's a couple of different weapons in here. We have an Imperial Cannon, which I don't know if that was a mod in the game. I think the Grand Cannon was, but the Imperial Cannon are uh, quite large. The Massive Rocket, which is, um, well, quite frankly, massive, as well as, I think it is the Giant flamethrower, yes, the giant flamethrower, which uh, should be rotated the other way around. Either way, there you go, giant flamethrower. Um, let's make something to utilize those, shall we? So first thing is the massive rocket, because one of my favorite things in this game is the aerial torpedo. Now, sadly, um, this is not like that. It's not going to be slow moving. I guess it'll be quite fast. So let's just make a vessel which just has one of these, and then we'll go for a bit of like a like a spam approach. Should we just like have loads and loads of these, and we'll see what it is like. So obviously we need to. I mean, look at the size of it. It's it's four blocks tall, and uh, it's got a very very good fire arc as well. So that's pretty cool. So. We'll go over to probably propulsion and we'll have a... Actually, no, we'll, we'll work from the front back over. So build around the weapon. So firstly, we need command and crew. So we're going to go for probably two... Actually, no, we'll walk over quarters there because we need to have... We need to have... I'm guessing the ammo there. Two sets of crew quarters. In terms of resources, we will have ammo store on the bottom. That should be enough to keep that going. Uh, behind that, we'll have a fire point because it's always useful to have one of those because your ship will, well, set on fire if you don't. Actually, it won't set on fire if you don't. It means if you get fire, uh, you can't put it out, which is uh, not ideal. We'll go for probably some coal store right next to that. So that'll be in resources as well. So coal store there, and then we'll have just behind that in propulsion, we'll have just a standard propeller. I don't think we need anything uh, more than that, although we do need a way to keep this in the air, because it's currently minus 66 metres of service ceiling, so it just can't stay in the air. A large suspendium chamber, far too big. Suspendium chamber normal would be fine. 164 metres service ceiling. That's not too bad. What I'm going to do is move that back a little bit, because I need to put some stuff in and around here. Actually, what I'm going to do is going to move those down like so. And then we will have to have, well, currently we've got no supply hatches and we can't give commands to the ship. So obviously we do want to resolve at that. So we'll do that by going to command and crew and we could use a bridge, but I think we've got the, we've got the room for a standard bridge. So we'll have that in there. Next to it, we don't have anything funky. We are going to put a telescope on the top there and then on top of that a crow's nest just to give you, um, actually we need to have it, um, there. Technically, there and there would be fine because then we can have a oh wooden supply hatch. That's new. A uh, corridor there, and we connect them both up. Gives us more accuracy. That's why we'll do that. So structural. Don't need any of the struts or fire doors. I mean, it's all it's all made of explodium. This thing. I mean, as soon as stuff one thing goes up, the whole thing's going to go. We'll go for a steel supply hatch, uh, and that the reason there's different supply hatches. I'm guessing it has. More HP. Um, I'm guessing it's harder for people to break in or something like that. Anyway, so we can't actually get access to that other one there, but... Um, one, two, three, like that. And then we just don't need anything at the back. Okay, that's technically a, a design that'll work. In terms of armor, we'll go for probably... Probably... probably, probably fill that one. That's a reinforced wooden armor, 19 meters service ceiling. What if we go for steel armor? Uh, 42 meters service ceiling. That'll be fine for us. That's fine. So in terms of decoration, we'll have a big mouth on the front there because that's just the way it works. And I think the eye further back is the way forward, although that one does look... <laughs> Problem. <laughs> yeah, it does look a bit like the troll face. Okay. We'll have that and then we'll have... Uh, no, we won't have that because of reasons. We will have a nameplate though. Steel nameplate, large steam steel nameplate, and we'll put it there. So, any painting? I don't think so. I think that is pretty much all we need. I think so. So, rename. It's going to be the Gav. 
generic airborne vessel or generic airship vehicle. Um, the Trollington, because it does look remind me of the problem troll face. And it's got a mouth there, two eyes, and then you've got the, the same thing on the rocket. Okay, we will save the design, save that as standard, and hang on, that's not the thing. Save design and save it. We will go back over to the combat bit, and we'll have it as dawn. In fact, what we'll do is we'll have it as snow, because it's currently uh, snowing a lot here in the UK. We're finally getting a nice little touch of winter. So we'll go for airship and we'll go for the trolling ton. And what we'll do is we'll have one versus... Wow, that's actually a low service ceiling. I thought it was a lot higher than that. Okay, so we'll have that versus whatever. So 1,500. So we'll say add a land ship. Uh, 1,500. The closest we can get to is... 1-3 is the scorpion. Um, yeah, okay, 1-3. We'll, we'll try that. We'll, so we'll shove them on the ground. And let's see how... How this works now obviously the rocket for this thing is not ideal it's generally um very very poor it's going to take a while to fire and but there we go and oh that made a big bang and <laughs> immediately we've lost the rocket on the front okay so we will um try that again let's go to combat I'm going to go back to the snow and we'll add the airship. And airship we will add as the Trollington, obviously. And we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we're currently up to 12,000 points. We're going to go to add building. And the closest thing we have that is the uh, big Wallington. And we're going to shove that in here. And let's just see which one blows up first. I have a feeling it's going to be that one, but we'll start it. And there is the shots out. And as you can see, the rockets are... Doing decent damage, actually. Now, like all rockets in this game, they are not great at penetrating and doing a lot of damage to one particular point. They just do a big spread and sort of knock bits out. Also, they are terribly inaccurate. Horribly inaccurate. Uh, and eventually, we'll hit the Death Star button and this thing will uh, fall down. Although, at the moment, it is holding its own. There you go. I've just noticed when you zoom out, you can't see inside. It's only when you zoom in. That's okay. Right. Looks like it's going to win, actually. Which is uh, something I didn't expect. Like I say, until it blows up. But maybe it's been altered. Maybe the patches have um, altered it somewhat. Oh, hang on. Hang on. We're starting to get some carved through now. No, there's the secondary explosions. I think it's starting to go. It's going. It's going. It's going to collapse any second. Oh! Why is it? Look at that! It's got a tiny little bit back there. Oh, well, but it's going at the top as well. We've got some secondary and tertiary explosions. Oh, yeah, there's the top coming down. And now the weight of itself will collapse the rest of it. No, no, it's still going. It's still going. Yeah, I don't think it's um, going to win anymore, quite frankly. Do you know the best thing is? This is called a wall and I still can't get past it. If I had to go past it, it's still won because I can't. <laughs> I definitely can't do that. Most of these are out of ammo, as you can see. It looks like the rocket does blow up very, very uh, easily. Drop of a hat, in fact. So we can say we've won that. Okay, that's fine. So we'll leave that fight. Go back to the combat thing. And we'll say add airship. We're going to go. That's wrong. Add building. That's wrong. Add airship. Hey, third time the charm. So Trollington. Un, de toi. Cat thing? I think. Cat? Yeah, maybe. Uh, six grand. Okay, so we'll have airship. Now, we know for a fact that things th there'll be certain things that beats it. The drone ship will almost certainly beat that thing because we can't take out the drones. The hammerheading had hammerheadington is probably not going to beat it, although we no, actually no, it might do. It might do. The splittington, the squishington, a lot of these are just terrible in every way. Subbington, one of my favourites. We'll put a subbington against this thing, and we need a couple more points, so we'll add airship once more. We know that things like that's the acid swarmington. Yeah, that's definitely going to give us a good kicking. Carrington, it is a carrier. Uh, chop Fighterington, no. We've got things like the Doom Shippington, which uh, requires mods, so we can't use any of that. Uh, K oh, the KV Twoington, which is just a KV2. 150, uh, 152 millimeters of derp on the front. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, let's have a, a rocket. Yeah, the rocket Fighterington. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We know the Zeppington would easily beat these things. These seem very overpointed for what they are, because I'm going to get absolutely hammered here. So they've fired rockets. I've fired rockets. Um, completely missed with more shots. Although they are simply, oh, they seem to be going for that. 
But as you can see, they're getting absolutely, absolutely pasted. Okay, so I've already lost one weapon. There's a the rocket going out. There's another one going out. And yeah, it doesn't... It hits like a truck when it fires, though. When it hits, actually. Look at that. It's just blown the front weapons off that. Let's see what these rockets are like. Come on, fire. That's not... Oh. Where's that one going? <laughs> I don't know where that one was going, but not very far. And this has only got one rocket left. Almost ready to fire. There it goes. Yeah. So, they've won. Alright, so. I don't think the rockets are terribly good. Um, well, I need to armor them up. We could always put some extra armor over the top of it. But, you know, we've always... We've just give that a good go. Let's go to Eshabetta. And we'll open the design. We're going to open Trollington. Because I think what we'll do this time is rip off that front gun. And we'll put on... A giant flamethrower. We get two of them, actually. Actually, no, 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 no. Let's put on the Imperial Cannon. Let's put on the Imperial Cannon. And it's actually a lot smaller than the other one. So we'll do that. There we go. So, uh, back to decoration. And you know what? I'm not going to decorate because it'll take far too long. We're just going to try the weapons out, you see. Save the design. Uh, we'll have it as... Uh, imp... Cannoning ton on 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 on, and we will leave that. We'll go to combat. Obviously, it's going to be snowing again. We'll add that airship, which is. I don't think it'll workington. No, it didn't actually. Um, so it's the imp cannoning ton. So how many bounty points is that? Nearly two grand. Okay. Uh, so we'll add a land ship because it's always good to do your test against a land ship. Something close to its points. In fact, it's the Flame Tankington. Is that the Flame Tankington? Yes. Flame Tankington. So we'll move this further back because we do have the advantage in that. So we'll start the fight. So there's the Imperial Cannon, as you can see. Whoa! That was a big bang. And it missed. Yes, it did. Okay, let's see if we can fire again. There's the shot. Obviously, it's not that great. Let's say aim shot. So, aim the shots, lads. Here we go. Powering up. Prepare to fire main gun. And fire. <laughs> totally and utterly uh, <laughs> anticlimactic there. I do like the nice uh, glow back there of the Spendium Cannon. Oh, here we go. Ready to fire. Fire. Okay. I don't think this is working. Is it broke? It is it a potato gun? Is it just a big spud gun? Is that all that's happened here? Come on. I want to see one of them hit it and it completely explode. <gasps> oh my god! It... Clip the back end. Wow, is that it? Is that all it did? Come on, surely. Surely we're going to get another better shot than that. I mean, don't worry. She's got her eye in now. She knows where She knows where to hit. There you go. There you go. Okay, so apparently it hits and it just goes through any armor and uh, damages the back end. Uh, that's sort of understandable. Let's uh, exit combat because what I want to do is go to... Um, I want to go back to that airship head to open the design. Actually, I don't need to open the design. I just want to see what damage that thing does. Um, Imperial Cannon is 2 ammo per shot, fire at 45 degrees. Piercing damage, 400. Okay, the Heavy Cannon, for comparison, is <laughs> 150. So, yeah. Preposterously large weapon. A single hit will destroy most smaller modules. Yeah. Yeah. Rocket painted like a demon that explodes in a great ball of fire. And then finally we've got the uh, giant flamethrower. Okay, let's just try... The Imp Cannon. One, two, three, four. That's uh, 7,500. None of these ground things are good. Actually, that's not too bad, that ground burst. But we're not going to do that. We'll say land ship. The Murrayington. Scorpionington. One, two. Actually, we'll move that to there. <laughs> there we go. 
Um, what they're on? That's okay. We'll have airship, drone ship. I always thought the drone drone ship was quite cool. Or should we have a Hammerington actually? Because it probably might it probably do a bit of damage these days. Um, airship. Mini sub test. That's it's like a carrier. So again, I think we're going to lose just because we haven't got a very good set. But let's just see what happens if they fire and do some damage. There's all the shots whizz out and immediately it snapped the top off there. But however, the fighters are going to come along and they're just going to take us all out. And oh, there we go. The first torpedo hit the suspendium chamber of the front thing and then uh, it got taken out, which is um, not good. But Imperial Cannons... Yeah, they hit like a truck, as they should do, because you're firing, you know, probably a truck at them. The shots move a bit too slow for my liking. But yeah, they they work, ish, ish. Okay, well, the, th the third and final test obviously has to be airship editor. Open the design and get rid of that. Giant flamethrower. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove those. Actually, put those back. What you do is you remove them separately, like that, sequentially. And then you can do that. And... Oh, we can't get access to that. That's a shame. Um, we're probably overcrewed. How many crew do we have? 24. Recommend the crew 21. Okay, we're not overcrewed. It's fine, in fact. Move that back over. Move that back over. And put that in there. Hmm. Move that. Put that in. And... I should have really done that. There we go. Okay, so flamethrowers. So actually we need to rename it. So the gav... Um, Uge Flemington. Save the design. Done. And we'll give that a go. Combat. Airship. Under you. Why do I put it near the bottom? So, Flamer. Firstly, service ceiling is garbage. We need to increase that somehow. We'll have a land ship. Nearly 2,700 we're on. So... Flackington would absolutely hammer the thing. Ah, oh, there you go. The Murrington. It's got... It's the same price. It's got a saw blade and loads of flak. I don't think I'm going to fare too well against this one. Start the fight. Immediately, flames going out. That's actually quite decent in terms of range. Obviously, not a lot of damage, but... Um, oh, my good grief. The thing is coming towards me. Uh, Move back, maybe? Before the saw blade gets you? It's working. You can see there's also robotic spiders on there as well. It looks like it fires in volleys. So, yeah, it's volley fire, volley fire, volley fire, and then it stops. Uh, we'll move forward just a tinsy little bit, and we should be able to be in... We're not in range, surely. How, 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 how are we not... We're out of range, are we? There we go. Oh, it's coming towards us, though. Ah, back up, back up. Back up. Oh, we've taken the front weapon off it. Oh, no, we hadn't. It was just glitching out a bit. A lot of damage you're getting put on there. Okay, I think that's quite effective. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go for combat. Snow. We'll add the flamer at the front. We'll add the cannon. And we'll add where is it? Trollington. There you go. So there's all three. Let's see what that's like. Two thousand and a bit of change. Uh, sorry, six thousand and a bit of change. Landship. Doggington. It was a dog as well. It was absolutely terrible. Uh, we'll have a scorpion. We'll add 
Flame Tankington? No. No. Ladin airship. Obviously, the thing that would beat this is the Zeppington. Zeppington would just absolutely hammer them from that range. Because, you know, it's OP. Um, airship. Let's go for the... Hammer Headington? No. The Grape Brickington was a fairly interesting design. Uh, they've got a little bit more to put in there. That airship. A chop fighter. One, two. two uh, 6,208, 6,252. That is good enough for government work. Let's start the fight and we'll see. Volley fire go. There's the rocket. And there's the flame. So flame V... Flame V saw. Currently, Flame wins. There you go. There's the rocket. And please hit the back. Yes! Ah. Yep, secondary explosions. Tail's gone. Okay, that's been disarmed on the top there. So I'm going to move these back. Because we might be able to win this. This one, not so much. Uh, we can't give commands to it because the, uh, the bridge is gone. So it's just a case of targeting... Oh, see that that uh, big cannon there fired? Oh, here with the rocket. Look at that. See the explosion? It hit there, but it blew blew the uh, the crow's nest off. Very nice. We keep moving back. Sadly, the amount of grape shot they've got is, good, is really big. Oh! Look at the damage it causes. I really like that. It's just so... Uh, <laughs> it's so cool the amount of damage that rocket causes when it hits. I can see loads of those being... Effective against um, bigger ships against small ships. Mm, I don't know. Well, actually, no, because it's got a big explosion. It might. Here we go. Here's the shot coming in. <laughs> Pretty much every time you fire one shot, it will uh, destroy something if it hits anywhere. Although the problem we have now is that um, this one I'm going to I'm going to ground the ship actually, and this one I'm going to move back over to there. You see, because this one's got a very big very good arc of fire. I'm hoping it hits their suspendium and drops out. Um, we are. We have the advantage that... Hang on, can that take off? Move to there so it can't get behind us. There we go. We have the advantage that we've got uh, just as much armor as they, they do. And the grape shot is not terribly good at uh, taking on armor. And as you can see, the grape shot... It's dented most of the hull, but it's not really destroyed it. That's not going to do much either. Although it is chipping at the back. How are we doing over here? That one's still got cannon. That one's got no weapons at all, so that one's gone. Uh, there goes... Oh, the suspendium chain's been taken out on this thing here. and it's But it's still got... Scratch that. I was going to say it's still got some firepower, but um, it's just blown up. We've got the front of our rocket on fire, which is never good. What I'm going to do is tell that rocket to target the one above it, although here's a shot out that will probably kill it. There it goes. Yeah, okay, so that's gone. However... Oh, we've lost. Yep. I was going to say, if we get another shot in here, we might be okay. But sadly, this has got a secondary explosion blowing that up. That one's blown up as well. And no, down, we surrender. And there's the end of that one. Defeat. So there you go. That's a bit more Airships Conquer the Skies version uh, 9.7.1, which added three new things. I think those were the three new ones. Yeah, interesting ones. I do like it. Uh, I think the overall um, next big patch is going to be... Um, Conquest mode multiplayer, which is uh, interesting to say the least, and also just some additions and changes there. So, as always, hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have any ideas for designs, changes, etc., you would like to see them by all means, let me know. I am up for doing uh, another series of this uh, at some point, but uh, we might wait to see what the uh, next big patch it'll bring, but we'll see how it goes. Either way, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.